Hello there everybody, Billabo10000 here bringing you episode 12 of Shadow of the Colossus. And now, we're going after our 12th Colossus. This is probably the trickiest one to get to in terms of just how obscure the way to get to it is. It is the next Water Shadow of the Colossus. It's based in water, and it's a pretty fun little boss fight. So what you want to do is when you leave the temple, you're going to turn to the left. But we're not going to go to any of those bridges, we're not going to go where to Avion was. We're going to go to those two pillars that we can see just over there in the distance, uh, where the bright sunlight is, because it's so goddamn bright. Seriously, there's one thing I just don't like about this game, is that the sun is just sometimes so bright it's almost impossible to see. But yep, these pillars will mark another bridge, and this bridge will lead us to a stack of, or not a stack, a piece of an island that we actually need to go to. And yes, it's a bit of a curved bridge. And look at the, the beautiful the beautiful waterfalls and things down there. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I quite like it. And you may be wondering what the actual uh, riddle was referring to when it said that a paradise floats in the water. Well, we're going to Paradise Falls. Now, Paradise Falls is obviously a fan name, as is any name that I give to these areas. And it's a giant waterfall. And... Personally, this is probably one of my favorite bosses in the game, just because this guy is creepy as hell, fun as hell, and I feel so, so sorry for this Colossus' weak spot. We all know what it is. We all know exactly what that weak spot is meant to entail. Now, you have to head this way, because there's a secret little forest here. Now, this would obviously... I personally would have thought they'd have hidden Kuramori here, because his uh, riddle mentioned a forest, which no one really... It really followed up with. There was never a forest. This is actually a proper little forest, kind of just nestled away. But we're not actually meant to come into the forest. The forest actually doesn't really have much in it. I mean, I mean, if we go over here, all we get is just a, a, a bit of water. It kind of looks like the forest that you see in the opening of the game. But other than that, there's just this giant gorge, which, if you look carefully... Uh, well, you can't really look carefully, but the right across the way is actually the fortress of the 15th Colossus. Now, you can basically just see a little bit of the walls, nothing too special. It's kind of cool that it's there, though. It's a, it's a nice way of just kind of making sure that all the areas are connected to the very smallest detail. And we actually just needed to turn right the moment we came in. We just needed to come out here because we're about to go jumping on a very dangerous area where I could easily die. Oh, so easily. We need to get off here. I don't think Agro is the kind of person that would like to be dragged over a waterfall like that one. In any case, actually, I think Agro might have been a good idea to bring along with me to this bit, just so I could get across to there. But then again, we all know how Agro is with cliffs. So let me just drink my cup of tea. Because I am British, and I need to do that, because that is that is what British people do. That is what, that is what us British people does. That is what we... We need tea, actually, to, to fuel ourselves every day. Like, it's literally, it's like um, how you'd fuel uh, a car with petrol. You would fuel a British person with tea. It's very fancy. I quite, quite like that. There's Avion's light. Oh, Avion, I miss you so much. It's such a cool colossus. Too early to die. Too early to die. What we need to do is we need to get onto this. I'm pretty sure we need to get onto this. And we're just going to make our way around it to the other side. This is just so we don't fall down the waterfall. So many things could go wrong here. Honestly, so many things could go wrong. You could fall, and then you'd be gone, you'd be dead. We're leaving Aggro behind, I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, Aggro. So sorry, you'll be missed. You, you will be missed. And we can continue up into the arena. Because this... Once we reach here, we literally actually have to jump into the water and swim to the arena. Now, you must be careful, because obviously there is a bit of a current that will be pushing you away. But if you make it over here, you will see that this area has a nice little couple gazebos. A broken one as well will be waiting for us over there. And I'm not sure if you can actually see it if you go underwater. No, nope, it's too murky. But underneath the water down there is the Colossi. It's just kind of hidden underneath. It's not really come up yet. Just gonna take a quick sip of my cup of tea once more. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, 
had a bit of a cough there. Actually, no, I think that's the Colossus over there. Oh, yeah, that's the Colossus. See those things sticking out from the water over there? I'm pretty sure that is our friend, the Colossus. Or that is another ruined gazebo. I really can't tell. Uh, let me actually swim over here and see if I can spot the Colossus when I dive under, because that's when I'm... Oh, no, there he is. You can see the marks underneath the water. That's his tusk and his mask, and... Oh, boy, this is going to be a fun one. Now, the thing to note about this Colossus is that it shoots electric beams. No one likes electric beams. And this is Pelagia. Pelagia. Pe -pe -pel Pelagia. Pe Pelagia. Pelagia. So many different ways. It doesn't have eyes. It has tusks and a mask. And it's coming out of the water. Oh, God. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. What the hell is that meant to be, guys? Seriously, what the hell is that meant to be? <laughs> like, I think it's like an island with the, a bull crab turtle thing. Oh, I don't even know what it is. It's just, it's there. It's a thing. It's real. It exists. And it's freaking massive. Now, the way you can tell it's angry is by its tusks. If they're blue, it means they're happy. If they turn a different color, it means run the hell away and hope you don't die. Now, we're probably going to be hit by the hope you don't die ones because it uses these electric attacks that you just can't avoid no matter what you do. Now, we need to head over to one of the built gazebos. You can't actually go to them because you need, like, originally, because you need to initiate the fight by going to the first gazebo, the, the broken one. But after you get there, you'll, you'll see. Actually, I think this is actually much far. This is much faster. Okay. I did not know this. And if we look at the Colossus, it's right behind us, and it's got Bassaran fever because of the goddamn accuracy of those shots. It's amazing just how lucky he is. He must be lucked down in, in his in his skill cap. He, he must be capped, capped out. So we need to hide here. What will happen is we will hide here, and it will try to approach. And when it approaches, we can get onto one of those ledges, and we can climb onto its face. Now that's one way of doing it. You can also go around the back and try and climb up its back, but that, that way is a bit less reliable, a bit tougher. Come on, Pelagia. You can do it. You can do it. I don't think he knows I'm here, so... Now, we could easily climb for his back right now. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's go. We're going for the back, we're going for the back, we're going for the climb, going for the climb, going for the climb, go, 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 go. We can do this, because actually it's going to take him a while to turn around, and we seem to be gaining on him, so this might actually be the opportune way to get on top of uh, Pelagia. And there we go. We're now clinging on to him, we now just need to start climbing up, and you have to climb onto his head, as you would with any other Colossus. Only, this Colossus is a bit special, in the sense that it's kind of freaking awesome. Now, I'm gonna try and take him out in one go, one round, because he is a very tough Colossus to redo, so to speak. Like, getting onto his head is like the easy bit. The rest of it is just a bit of a pain. So, stop, stop shaking, and get my grip back. We wanna get onto that little bit of his head over there grab on so that he doesn't do anything and then we need to hit those little teeth looking uh, rock things that he kind of has going on over there we need to we need to hit those because it allows us to control him this is beautiful we can actually control a colossus like if we were friends with this guy this would be great oh i'm sure there's probably some kind of story about it if anything now we need to go forwards to a gazebo because we need to get on top of one now, the sad thing that happens is, if you fall off, you have to do this all again, and you don't actually gain anything from falling off. It just, it sucks. Really badly. It just sucks. Trust me, I've done it before. It makes you very sad. It makes you feel kind of worthless uh, about playing this game. Alright, we need to go forwards, and then... No! We need to go right, go right, go right! No! Go right! Damn it, listen to me. And we're on. And now we need to hide, because what he'll do is he'll try and shoot us. I'll drink my tea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Then he does this. And then... You see his weak point, and you feel oh so sorry for him. This is his weak point. I don't know what Japan or China or Sony or whoever it was that made this were thinking, but this is its weak point, and I feel so goddamn sorry for it. And that's half of its health done. The moment that one's done, I think he's going to destroy the gazebo, which pretty much is very sad. I don't know where I am in all of this, so that's kind of worrying. And now that that... Okay, I see where I am. Okay. And he's looking at me. Don't look at me. I'm just a friend. A friend? Friend! Don't look at me. I'm hideous. And now, I think you guys can guess, it's a lather, rinse, repeat thing. Look at where, where they put his friggin' weak point. That is just cruel. That is actually, I personally think that is uh, against rights. Against people's rights. That should not be allowed. Because that is just absolutely cruel. <laughs> where, why would you put a weak point there? That's like, that's like just asking for your male consumers to not buy this game. <laughs> I mean, it makes me cringe every time I have to stab that weak point, because it's just not right. It, like, we, it, they could say, oh, it's his stomach. That is not his stomach. Oh, we got the face! We got on the face! Oh my god, finally. This is what I meant by climbing on his face. You can climb on his face, and you can get up to it so quickly, compared to getting onto that other guy. Onto that other guy, onto that other thing. No, no, go the right way, go the right way, go the right way, please. Please, this is this has got to be it. Third time's a charm. Third time is a freaking charm. It's always a charm. No, okay, okay. Go right, go right. Go right! And then go forwards. What the hell? No, go left. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god, thank you so much. Okay, we cannot muck this one up. We need to get its weak point this time. So we need to get two fully charged shots and we will kill it. We will. I know we will. And... Stab one. This one I need to... Do like that. And Pelagia is down. I wanted to wait a bit more on that one just so that I knew I'd kill it. And with that, we have conquered the Paradisal Island known as Pelagia, Pelagia, Pele... Pe Pe Pele, Pelagio. Pe Pe Ugh. I don't know. It's a weird name. <laughs> and with that... We have completed our task three-thirds of the way through. 
And at the start of the next episode, we're going to get a nice little cutscene that you'll be seeing in episode 13. Speaking of which, it's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like. Leave a like? Leave a rate? <laughs> leave a rate? Every bit of rating, every bit of feedback, it's much appreciated. I definitely love it all. I love all your comments. I love your suggestions. If you'd like to see part 11 or maybe even part 13, there are annotations in the top left and top right for both of those parts respectively, as well as a link in the top middle left to the Shadow of the Colossus playlist so you can actually check out the entire series if you so wish, if you haven't already. And if you want to check out some of my other LPs, there is a Captain Toad Treasure Tracker LP going on, which will also be in an annotation in the top middle right. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.